YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. I said I'm gonna do another video, but um, <laughs> I had another funny. Well, it's not a funny oil field story, man. But it, it, it was a fun. It was a funny story to me at the time, right? So, um, how this stuff be happening, like, like in the wee hours in the morning, right? So it was probably about maybe three thirty, four o'clock in the morning. It may have been two thirty, right? So, I, we were in uh, Pecos or Picos, Texas, you know, depending on how you pronounce it. And we went to um, Sand Yard, Sand Man, to the silos. So, a lot of guys, the further west Texas you got, like, the more Mexicans um, that you got. Because they didn't really have like no truck washes out there or nothing, so they would have guys with uh, their trucks, and they had a big jug of water and a pressure washer, and they'll come out to the truck stop, you know, and just wash the whole truck down and stuff like that. So, you know, that was convenient. I never got them to wash uh, the truck I was driving down and nothing like that, but when I was on my 10 or when I was on my 24, because in the, if you didn't know in the oil field, you don't get a whole 34, you get a 24. All right, so um, once your 24 hours is up, if you stopped at 7 a.m., um, you know, you got to be ready to roll 7 a.m. to, you know, the next day or whatever like that. But anyway, <clears throat> not to go off on a tangent, so we were at the sand yard, and so they had like, a lot of Mexican guys there, and so the, uh, the people that in the scale house, they were bilingual, and so... Um, <laughs> they would uh <laughs> you would get up to the stop sign, right? And you would radio in, you know, obviously say, Hey Scale House, you got a copy. And they'll tell you, uh, give me one moment. And then uh they'll say, Okay, truck at the stop sign, give me information. So <clears throat> it was a Mexican cat, spoke no English, right? And so he um he was at the stop sign, and uh, like I said, I, I don't understand uh, Spanish or anything, so I guess assuming when he got up there, he spoke like whatever scale house do you have a copy in Spanish, that's what he said, right? And so they, uh, they responded back to him like in English, right? Like, hey, we're not ready yet. So my man, <laughs> my man. My man started reading off his uh his load number because they want your truck number, um, your box number, your trailer number, um, uh, what saying you're getting, and um, who you work for, right? So you'll be like, hey, I work for X, Y, and Z, truck number 2324, trailer 1365, uh, box number. Uh, 352 picking up uh 100 mesh, and and they want you they want you to tell them how much you want. You be like picking up 43,000, 44,000 or whatever. So my man said, so my man just started reading it off. He said, "Sir, I did not ask you for that. My man still seven to." <laughs> so man, I'm tell you, this went on for a good five minutes. Now they may say that's not a long time, but just really sit for five minutes and just think about how long five minutes really is. And this is how long my man was just continuing to do this. So he finally stopped, right? He finally stopped. And I guess like, they was like, you know what, forget it, man. Just, just write the stuff down, man. He, he not gonna stop. So they, uh, a man pulled into the silo and um, he got loaded. And when you pull out the silo, they don't want you um, climbing up on a box or nothing like that. So you'll pull up underneath like one of those ladders that you push out on top and get up there and shut your top of your box. I don't know who made the phone call, but about four or five police officers pulled up, man. Like, I'm on like Border Patrol. Went straight to my man's truck and got him up out of there. Got him up out of there.
And I said, man, like, for those who've never been to the border, which I've only been to the border, like, well, I ain't going to say the border, but I've been down to, like, Laredo, Texas. And when you come back up, they got stops. And I just thought it was like this, you know, like, you're not even really di digging into it, but, you know, cool, fine with me. I don't want to get held up. All they'll say is, are you American? And he'd be like, yeah. He'd be like, all right, go. So, like, the fur like I said, the further west that you got, you would see, like, more Mexican drivers and stuff like that. And so, it was like, rumors were going around, like, you know, some of these guys, you know, they, they you know, they got people that they know over here, they sneak them over the border. You know, they put him in the truck. They like, hey, you know, give him the rundown. Like, this where you go. So, I don't know if somebody at the scale house made the call or what the situation is. But they came and got my man out that truck. And I was like, man, my man just trying to make a living, right? <laughs> you know, he didn't want to stop talking, but, you know, they called him. They called, you know, they called. And like I said, I, I had I have to say it was a scale house because we would go to that sand that that uh the sand yard multiple times for a lot of work that we were doing. And that was my first and my last time ever seeing a situation where they pulled up like that. And like I said, we I'm talking about I ain't talking about like six o'clock in the morning, three thirty in the afternoon. I'm talking two, three, four o'clock in the morning. Pitch black. They pulled up, got my man out that truck. Right? But I don't have a gang of oil field stories, but I got a few, man. I got a few. But, uh, yeah, I just had to tell you that, man. That's, that was that was wild, man. And, I mean, I was I was a little scared, to be, to be real with you, due to the fact that I'm thinking, like, Obviously, we're not in the type of trucks and stuff like that to be smuggling anybody. But are y'all going to come knock on everybody's door, do a search, or what the situation was, right? I, that was my whole mindset until I seen them just leave the premises, right? Yup, but um, yeah, man. I'm going to get back with you tomorrow. Peace.